This is an update on the Young Dolph case. As you guys may know, Young Dolph was gunned down on November 21st, 2021 at a cookie store in Memphis. There have been rumors and, and speculation that Yo Gotti's brother by the name of Big Juke pictured above that he, you know, put a head out on Young Dolph. Prosecutors is accusing Big Juke saying that he put a hit out on young Dolph, and they're currently trying these two justin johnson and cornelia smith saying that they are telling them that big jook is the person that put the hit out on young Dolph. this is all going on in the trial uh in the in their trial for the murder of young Dolph. the backstory is that young Dolph was asked to sign a record label which was cocaine music at the time, but it's now known as Collective Music Group, which is CMG. You know, you might hear it in Yo Gotti's songs, but CMG. So he was asked to sign to CMG. Uh, Young Dolph didn't want to sign, and he ended up writing a diss track, and he directed it towards Big Jook. And so, you know, then the twist of events, the Young Dolph is killed November 21st, 2021. Then we have Big Jook, who is killed in January of 2021. 2024 which people are saying is the retaliation since word got around street that he put the hit out on young Dolph. and you know he's self-proclaimed the king of memphis so now prosecutors are saying that these two defendants are you know saying that they did this because big jook put a hundred thousand dollar hit out on young Dolph, which cornelia smith only received eight hundred dollars prior to being locked up after he was locked up, he claims that his attorney fee of 50000 was paid by Big Jook. And other than that, he didn't see any money. So he didn't got himself in trouble. And he didn't did all of this over $800. Like he took somebody's life over $800. So Cornelia Smith said, you know what? He didn't care. He didn't mind taking Young Dolph's life because he had just lost his young child and he started taking some prescription medicines and he really didn't care about anything until he sobered up in jail in his cell you know he got a little clean well he got clean in his jail cell and his conscience set in and that's when i guess he just decided to start telling everything you know the and the thing that i don't think they realize is that no matter how much you tell on big jook and that he put a hit out on on young Dolph you're still gonna take this murder rap like you are an adult no nobody made you do this you feel what I'm saying so whether you was hard up on some money and you needed some cash and decided to do it you are about to go to prison for this and then on top of that you're gonna be labeled as a, a rat inside prison so it's gonna you're gonna be doing some hard time I don't think they understand that and this is a lesson to all the dudes in the hood who you know it's the streets over everybody this is how shit can turn out because you know they got that boy Cornelius Smith only received eight hundred dollars, and he thought that Big Jook was gonna come off that hundred thousand dollars after he got the you know the job done. And then this is not the only thing is that Yo Gotti, this is Yo Gotti's brother. Big Jook is Yo Gotti's brother, and so you know Angela Simmons is running around riding around with Yo Gotti and all of that. You know he got her riding around Memphis. And you know, thinking everything's cool, but it's honestly not because they can retaliate again. Like who's to, who who's to say when enough is enough? So I feel like she should be laying low. I mean, the, you know, she the, he got her thinking she part of the street life. She pulled up to the BET Awards with this little fake gun purse, and then had to issue an apology. So I and then you know, this ain't her first rodeo with these hood dudes because her first her baby daddy he ended up getting killed at a nightclub, and he was on he was on some street stuff too. And so, yeah, it's just a lot going on with that Gotti family right now. I mean, she I, she should definitely be watch, looking over her shoulder because, you know, they could accidentally try to hit her and, and, you know, trying to hit him. You feel what I'm saying? So I just feel like there's nobody to say, okay, well, they killed his brother, so that's going to be enough. Well, to some people in, your, in um, Young Dolphins team, maybe that's not enough. Maybe they took their everything. Maybe like, oh, no, we got to come for everybody else in your family, too, because uh, that Big Jook wasn't enough. We don't care what he did. You know what I mean? Maybe his brother, maybe they might think that his brother has something to do with it. Who knows? But this street stuff is deep. And this ain't even the first run-in that Young Dolph had. He was shot multiple times in September of 2021. And, you know, he made it out alive. But it's just sad that his family's now mourning his death because of a diss track. And then $800 for somebody's life is absolutely crazy. And you know 
that like he wasn't gonna pay you that much money like that like he came with eight hundred dollars he didn't even come with a band like he gave you eight hundred dollars after you just murdered somebody and then didn't help you he didn't help you get away or any of that so this is the street life though y'all drop a comment on what you think peace out